What's up you guys it's Deepoy and today we will create this awesome neon light effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours let's get started. So this is the image to which we will give a neon light effect now if you want to follow along the tutorial then you already know the drill links in the description below so let's first start with the creation of a triangle neon tube so for that we need to select brush tool and then you need to click on the drop down over here and then select the brush as hard round and then you need to set the size of the brush to around 60 pixels so let me just do that and then you can minimize this panel after that you need to set the opacity of the brush to 100% and then set the flow of the brush to 100% as well and then click on the foreground color and then set the color as white which will be the color of our brush and then you can click on ok. So once you are done with the settings of the brush after that you need to select pen tool and then you need to click on the drop down over here and then select the option as path. After that using the pen tool you need to create the triangle as follows so let me just do that. So now once you have created the path for your triangle, after that you need to create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. So now once your new layer has been created, after that you need to right click inside of the path and then select the option as stroke path. And then you need to set the tool as brush which will fill the path with that of the brush which we had created earlier and then you can click on ok. So now as you can see now our triangle has been created Now after that we need to save the path for this triangle so for that go to the paths tab. And then you need to save this work path so for that double click on that work path. So as you can see there will be one pop up in order to save that path. After that you can give any name of your choice. And then you can click on ok. So now we have saved that path now after that we need to hide that path at the moment so for that hit the enter or return key on your keyboard. So now as you can see now the path is no more visible now after that you need to again go to your layers tab. Now the next thing we need to do is give this triangle a neon tube kind of effect so for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as color overlay. Now in the pop up you need to set the blend mode as normal click on the color icon and then set the color as follows FF8C04 and then you can click on ok and then set the opacity of the color overlay to 100%. So now as you can see now we have changed the color of our triangle from white to orange. Now the next thing we need to do is give this triangle a tube kind of effect. So for that select the option as inner glow and then you need to set the blend mode as normal, opacity as 100%, noise as 0%, click on the color icon and then set the color as white. After that you can click on ok, technique as softer, source as center, choke to 0% and then set the size as around 40 pixels and then you can click on the drop down of the counter and then select the counter as half round and then make sure you untick this anti alias option and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this inner glow option so for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image. So now this was the before and now this is after. So as you can see by adding this thing it gives such a nice tube kind of effect for our triangle. Now let me just zoom out again. So now our neon tube is ready. Now let's add some glow for our neon tube. So for that select the option as outer glow. Now over there you need to set the blend mode as linear dodge. Opacity as 52%. Noise as 0%. Click on the color icon. And then set the color as follows. FFA800. And then click on OK. Set the technique as softer. Spread as 0%, size as around 60 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this outer glow option. So this was the before and now this is after. So now as you can see now we have added the glow for our tube. Now we need to add some more glow but as you can see we don't have an option in order to create one more outer glow layer style. So for that we will use the drop shadow as an outer glow. So for that select the option as drop shadow. And then you need to set the blend mode as linear dodge. Click on the color icon and then set the color as follows FFAE00 and then click on OK. And then set the opacity of the glow to 100%. Make sure you tick this use global light option and then set the angle as 30 degree, distance as 0 pixels. 
spread as 0% and then set the size to around 250 pixels that is maximum and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow. So this was the before and now this is after. Now after that you can click on ok. So now as you can see now our neon tube is ready but as you can see the glow is looking a bit too less so for that we need to add some more glow. So for that create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon and then select brush tool and then you need to click on the drop down over here and then select the brush as soft round and then you need to set the size of the brush to around 1000 pixels so let me just do that and then you can minimize this pop up and then set the opacity of the brush to 100% and then set the flow of the brush to 100% as well and then click on the foreground color and then set the color as follows which will be the color of our brush FFAE00 and then you can click on OK and then we need to bring back that triangle path which we had created so for that again go to the paths tab and then you need to select the path which we had saved which was this tube path by clicking on it so as you can see as you click on it your path becomes visible now after that again go to your layers tab and then we again need to select pen tool so let me just do that and then click on the drop down over here and then select the option as path and then you need to right click inside of the path and then select the option as stroke path and then set the tool as brush make sure you untick the simulate pressure option and then you can click on ok after that we again need to hide this path so for that hit the enter or return key on your keyboard so now as you can see now we have added the glow but as you can see it is looking a bit too much so for that we need to change the blend mode of this layer to linear dodge and then you need to reduce the fill of this layer to 20% as well so let me just do that so now as you can see now it is looking more proper now let me just show you the before and after of this new layer so this was the before and now this is after now after that we need to combine these two layers into a single group so for that press ctrl or command on mac and then click on the layer 1 which will give you the selection of the layer 1 as well as keep the selection of the layer 2 active and then press ctrl or command on mac plus g which will combine the two selected layers into a single group so now as you can see now we have merged the two layers into a single group now the next thing we need to do is hide some portions of this neon tube from the subject so for that we need to get the selection of the subject so for that we need to hide this group layer by clicking on the eye icon at the moment and then make the background layer active by clicking on it and then select quick selection tool and then using the quick selection tool you need to get the selection of the subject in the image but since we don't want a perfect selection so I will go ahead with the option as select subject which is default in photoshop which will give us the selection of the subject in the image so once you have the selection after that you need to select the option as select and mask now over there you can keep the selection as it is but we need to increase the value of the feather so that it makes the selection more smoother. You can increase the value of the feather accordingly. So for me this much feathering looks proper now after that you can click on ok. So now once you have a proper selection after that you need to make the group layer active by clicking on it and then unhide it by clicking on this checkbox. And then we need to apply this selection onto this group so for that click on add layer mask option. So now as you can see at the moment the selection has been applied the opposite way and we need to solve that thing so for that we need to invert this mask so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus i in order to invert this mask. So now as you can see now we have solved that thing but we still need to bring back the lower portion of the tube so for that again select brush tool and then select the brush as soft round and then you need to make sure that you set the opacity and the flow of the brush to 100% and then click on the foreground color and then set the color as white and then you can click on ok and then you need to make sure that the mask of the group layer is active and not the group layer itself and then using the brush tool you need to hover over the areas where you want to bring it back you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard so let me just bring back those areas Also if you want to hide something again then all you need to do is set the foreground color as black and then you can click on ok and then using the brush tool you need to hover over that area which you want to remove. So as you can see as you hover over that area it removes that thing now let me just go a step back since I did not want to remove it and then let me just continue with the process. So now as you can see now our image is looking more proper now let's add some more glow near the top portion of the hair as well so for that we need to create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon 
and then select brush tool and brush as soft round and then you need to make sure that the opacity and the flow of the brush is set to 100% and then click on the foreground color and then set the color as follows FFAE00 and then you can click on OK and then using the brush tool you need to hover over the area where you want to add some glow you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard so once you have added the glow after that you need to set the blend mode of this layer to linear dodge and then reduce the fill of this layer to 20% so now as you can see now it is looking more proper but as you can see there is some extra glow over there as well and we need to remove that thing so for that click on add layer mask icon and then select the brush tool and then set the foreground color as black and then using the brush tool you need to hover over the area where you want to remove that glow so let me just do that So now as you can see now it is looking more proper. Now the next thing we need to do is add some glow on the model as well. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as hue and saturation. Now in the pop up you need to check the colorize option and then set the hue to around 37 and then set the saturation to around 100 and then keep the lightness as it is. Now the next thing we need to do is remove this glow from the dark portions of the image. So for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as blending options now in the pop-up you need to select the default blending options now over there you need to set the slider of this layer which is under the blend if as follows but before that you need to break this slider into two so for that press alter options on mac and then click on that slider which will break that slider into two and then you need to drag the right portion of the slider more towards right so as you can see as you drag that slider more towards right it removes the glow from the shadowed portion so as you can see I'm setting the value of the sliders as follows and then you can click on OK. Now let me just show you the before and after of this hue and saturation. So this was the before and now this is after. So as you can see it is looking so much better. Now the next thing we need to do is add some fog kind of effect. So for that make the layer 3 active by clicking on it. And then we need to create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. And then we need to select brush tool. And then click on the toggle brush panel icon. And then go to the brushes section and then you can select any smoke brush of your choice downloading for the smoke brush i'm choosing is in the description below and then go to the brush settings and then select the option as shape dynamics and then set the value of the angle jitter to maximum and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default now you can close this pop-up and then using the brush tool you can hover over the areas where you want to add some fog you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard So now as you can see at the moment it is looking a bit too more and we need to remove it from some of the areas so for that we need to add a layer mask so for that click on add layer mask icon and then you need to make sure that your foreground color is set to black and then you can click on ok and then using the brush tool you need to hover over the areas where you want to hide it. So now as you can see now it is looking more proper now after that you need to make that layer active by clicking on it. And then you need to set the blend mode of this layer as linear dodge and then set the fill of this layer to around 30% and then you can keep on adding and hiding the smoke where you feel the need so for that you need to make the mask of that layer active by clicking on it and then using the brush tool you can continue with your thing. So now as you can see now it is looking more proper now the next thing we need to do is add some sparkles near the neon tube so for that go to file and then select the option as place embedded. And then you can select any sparkle dust image of your choice downloading for the image I'm choosing is in the description below and then select the option as place and then you need to set the blend mode of this layer to screen and then you can set this sparkle dust image accordingly where you want to add some sparkles so let me just do that. So this place looks perfect after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it and then we only need to add some sparkles near the neon tube so for that we need to add a layer mask so for that click on add layer mask icon. And then we need to invert this mask so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus i in order to invert it and then set the foreground color as white and then click on ok and then you need to set the opacity of the brush to 100 percent and then set the flow of the brush to 100 percent as well and then using the brush tool you can hover over the area where you want to bring back the sparkle dust you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard so as you can see as you hover over that area it brings back that sparkle 
so now as you can see now image is looking more proper so yeah that's it guys that's the final image i hope you guys like this video on how to create this neon light effect in photoshop now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop thanks for watching bye bye